Hey guys, this is June because I'm running in June. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can connect your MailChimp integrated with your GrooveFunnels and GroovePages. So very straightforward. All you need to do is just go log into your GrooveFunnels and at the top right hand side at the hamburger menu, just click on my integration and then make sure you click add and choose the integration type as MailChimp just to fill up anything that is relevant. You can just pick anything, okay? Just write the description. And when you're at this API key, I want you to log into your MailChimp account just to go to your dashboard. And at the top left corner, just hit on your account and hit account and choose extra. And here you can locate API keys, okay? So right now, maybe it's your first time creating API keys. I want you to hit on create a key. When you have done so, you should be able to retrieve this key. Just hit on copy and paste it back to the group funnels and hit on update. And you should be able to see your MailChimp um, channels over here. So right now, let's get on to really build our landing page and squeeze page using group funnels and start um, having your subscribers to subscribe to your email list and have them stored into your MailChimp, okay? So right now we are going to create a landing page or squeeze page. So just hit on new site. Um, we just we are going to build from scratch. So this is Mailchimp testing by Junlo.co. Okay, you can put on anything that you like and hit on start building. And when you have done so, what I want you to do is that it should be a blank page, right? What we are going to do is we need to go to the blocks, okay, and then pick the form. And over here, there are a lot of forms um, that you can pick any template you like. I really love this. So I'm just going to pick this and drag it over here. And here you should be seeing a form, but this form is not working. What I need you to do, you guys to do is actually to select this form and then hit on the delete button here and hit on confirm. Okay. And then go to the elements. When you scroll down below for the integration part, we are looking for integration to integrate with MailChimp with our group funnels and group pages, right? Just select the MailChimp and drag it to the right, okay? So the next very important step is that we need to make sure this form is being hooked up with our MailChimp. Just hit on MailChimp. Okay, just pick on the list. If let's say you do not have any list over here, you need to go back to your MailChimp account and then create a list in your audience listing. Okay, this is thank you redirect link. It means that when your prospect or when your subscribers hit on the subscribe button, where you want to redirect them afterwards. So let's assume that I want to redirect them to a new URL, which is my website called junlo.co. Okay, you just need to hit on the update. And the next thing that you want to do is probably changing the, maybe the button, the button name, right? Just change the subscribe now and submit and I hit update. And I want to change the color of the button. So just make sure the body is right here and hit on the design and then pick the bottom background color. It's maybe it's a blue, I'm a blue person. <laughs> so, and then hit on save and publish. If let's say this is the first time publishing in Groove, make sure that you already set a subdomain over here. My subdomain is June, right? So I want to host my site with Groove pages. And this is MailChimp integration with Groove by Junlo. Junlo, okay. I, I'm, I purposely pick a long one. <laughs> so and hit on publish. It's your first time publishing, right? It will probably take about 10 to 15 seconds for your website to populate correctly. Right, right now, we already see that the content is safe. So wait a few more seconds and I'm going to hit on this page. Yes, right now it's populate. So let's test on this. This is my email. I click on a subscribe button. It will then loop me to, remember just now after the thank you pages, I actually input them to redirect them to another URL, which is junlo.co. So that's where they are able, they are landing on this page. So you can always control to any other pages that you like. Okay, so the next thing that you want to check is probably go back to your MailChimp, go to the audience, uh, let me see, audience and make sure that my listing is actually part of the email list and then boom, you are done over here. Okay, so I hope that 
this tutorial uh, actually help you guys to know how to set it up this MailChimp, um, integrate it very easily and successfully with group funnels and group pages. And of course, I find that if let's say you are having some troubles, feel free to leave the comments down below and happy to help out. And also feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channels as well as joining our Facebook group because I'm going to roll out even more different tutorials that can help you with your group funnels. Um, so happy grooving and that's all. So feel free to also uh, join my Facebook group. It's called Amazing Story. You can go to www.amazingstory.co where you're not only going to learn how to build the group funnels, you're also able to learn how you're able to use organic strategies to close deals faster without any ad spend. Okay, so stay tuned to the end and I hope look forward to see you guys tomorrow then. Take care. Bye.